All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at something that's so new that only a single prototype, a working prototype, exists, and this is it. This is called the SWIC, and it was designed by David Storm. A lot of you guys don't realize this, but you probably know him, or at least know of him. He's the owner of PickLocks.com. It's an educational site for Locksport, and he also is the author of a, uh, a DVD series on lockpicking called Lockpicking for the New Millennium. So if you've ever watched that, you've seen some of David's work. Uh, he's been doing this since about 1998, so he's been around Locksport for quite a while. Uh, a few years ago, he decided he wanted to produce the ultimate jackknife, and he worked on this off and on over about a three-year period, and this, guys, is what he came up with. He calls this the SWIC, and right now this is going through a Kickstarter. Uh, I think there are about 17 days left. Uh, I will tell you, full disclosure, I'm not involved in the Kickstarter. Uh, I don't stand to benefit in any way from the Kickstarter or from the profits that he might derive. I get nothing. But whenever I see a new product that's innovative and well-designed, I like to try to support it as best I can. And so we'll just do a review of this. All right, when we take a look at this guy, as I said, this is a prototype and you can see the handle on this one is 3D printed. The production model is gonna be injection molded. So you won't see those characteristic lines that we're used to from 3D printers. It'll be perfectly smooth through there. Uh, embedded in the side of this, it kind of jumps out at me, there is a tension wrench that is kind of press fit in there. Now I will tell you when David overnighted this to me to do a review on, he said, if your viewers have any ideas on how to improve this thing before we go to production, I am all ears. So guys, if you, if, if you see anything you'd like to see improved, leave it in the comments. I'm sure David is going to be scanning those pretty closely. All right, in the side of this, press fit. We have a top of the keyway. You know this, it has a little inset, a little cutout to get your thumbnail into uh, to pull that tension out of there, and it just pops right out. One of the things he's thinking about, and again, your opinion's important, so he's listening. Let's do a little poll down there. Uh, the, this one is 40 thousandths. He's thinking about making the production model with a 50 thousandths top of the keyway. Uh, another option, let me put this guy back, pop him back in there, and he fits, fits pretty good. He's not going to fall out. There's another side on this knife. He's thinking about putting another cutout over here. So you have a 40 thousandths over here, and then inset another 50 thousandths on this side. Personally, that's my option, but if, if you can make do with one, let David know. Uh, try to save a little bit of money in production, I guess. All right, on the top. You know, again, these are handmade. The, they'll be, the production ones will be much finer finished. They'll be tumbled for a total of three hours, either in a vib vibratory, um, to, uh, what do you call it, smoother, <laughs> or a tumbler to smooth off all of the edges. I'm not going to take time to go over each of these because all of these tools are going to be different. Uh, these are 25 thousandths made out of 301 stainless steel, as will the production models be, but the tips will be different, and you get to choose your own tips. Now, Dave has gone a little bit further with this. He's worked with Christina Palmer, probably one of the most scientific and mathematically inclined pick designers I know. And if you guys recall, let me grab uh, these off my workbench here. Christina uh, was the designer of these guys, these cycloid picks. About two years ago, I did a review, and so working with David, she's designed a whole bunch of pick profiles that will go into this tool, and yes, these are included in those options, and so you can fit a total of 12 25,000 tips in there, but that's, that's not all. They're also going to offer the same profiles, and by the way, I'll put the uh, link to all of the different profiles down in the description. You go take a look. You're gonna, they're going to also offer them, in addition to 25 thousandths, in 20 thousandths for our European friends. And also for the Locksport community, we're going after those paracentric keyways, 15 thousandths. So if you have 25 thousandths, you get 12. If you choose 20 thousandths, you can get 15 picks. And if you go with 15 thousandths, you can get 20. If, and of course, I would probably mix and match those three. So somewhere between 12 and 20 picks inside of here of my choice. So every one of them basically is customized for you based on the choices that you make as to thicknesses and pick types. All right, push those guys back, keep rotating this around. On the bottom, 
We've already seen one, possibly two, top of the keyway, but there's more. In the bottom of here, we obviously have, you can see some, some bottom of the keyway, and there's a little cutout, very ergonomic. Again, we can stick our fingernail and pull one bottom of the keyway, two bottom of the keyways. These two guys are a little different. These are top of the keyway, and they should slide out because they're not really locked in place. I might have to prime a little bit here. Pop right out. There's one top of the keyway, two top of the keyway, and we're still not done, guys. Notice that little guy right there? A decoder slid right. I've never seen a decoding blade stuck inside of one of these jackknives before. So if you want to decode or shim something, uh, you have the tool to do it with built inside of here. But again, that's not all. We flip it over, we have what David calls his secret compartment. And stuck inside of there, you can see one of something. Let me get my beater block. Pull a tap. He should come right out of there. We're going to have one or possibly two spiral extractors stuck inside of here. So literally a complete pick kit that fits in your pocket between 12 and 20 picks of your choice and all kinds of tensioners. Oh, just, um, as I said, this is in, pick, in uh, Kickstarter right now. As of today, there are 16 or 17 days left. I am not yet a supporter of this. I will be before that 16 or 17 days is up. I really want something this well designed and well thought out to succeed. If you feel the same way, I'll leave the link to David's Kickstarter in the bottom. All right, this is the prototype. It's the one and only. So David was very specific when he overnighted this. He says, do not give away that tool. It's the only one I have. So I guess he's emotionally attached to this thing. He's been carrying it around in his pocket for a year, trying it out to make sure it's going to work. So he sent me something else to give away. And this is, again, this is from the picklocks.com website. It's a cutaway training lock. You can see we got some security pins in there. Very cool. So we'll be giving this away. And I will give you, oh, it comes with a little follower. And I will give you a brand new, since that's not available and we're talking about jackknives, I will give you a brand new multi-pick jackknife with a bunch of extra blades and it's already full of blades as well. Anyway, that's the giveaway. If you guys would like to win this, but not that, I want to be very clear about that. I can't give that away under threat of death. There's the website, guys. There's a big purple band in the middle of the page that says weekend giveaway. Click it, register. With a little bit of luck, you'll get pick locks, cutaway training lock, and the multi-pick jackknife. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal. As always, I appreciate your support if you're a Patreon supporter. And as always, I really do appreciate your subscription. Click on that uh, notification bell so whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. Thanks, guys. If you like the idea of growing the LockSport community, please consider supporting the Lock Lab by either becoming a Patreon or clicking the join button below.